Everybody, as you guys could see, I'm wearing my robe because I want this to be as relatable as possible. I just got out of the shower. I'm not about to be wearing my clothes. Normally, I actually don't like wearing clothes before doing my makeup. Ever since I got this really beautiful, lush robe, I love wearing it while I'm getting ready, doing my makeup, and then wear my clothes. So, yeah. I started using brushes now. And I don't I think I got that from Uche Natori. Like if you guys are not familiar with Uche's routine, I didn't get everything that she did to the T, obviously, because you know, she does a whole full coverage routine and stuff. And I think I kinda like upped my game with the full coverage. But at the same time, I kinda still like, you know, not really doing that much coverage because I don't really need it for real. My skin's already popping or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Let's just get into this video because I know you're already getting tired. This intro is longer than expected but yeah if you guys want to see how i achieve the look you saw in the beginning in the beginning then keep watching so the first step that i like to do when i do my makeup sorry i was looking for my primer <laughs> when i do my makeup is i use this milk pour eclipse primer honestly honestly y'all as i'm getting in my makeup bag I thought somebody was on my bed jesus as I'm getting into my makeup bag, I'm starting to not like really care for primers that much. Um, and honestly, once you do a good skincare routine, you really don't need primer unless you want to use a primer. Um, but you know, we're getting into the summer months and if you do plan on doing this makeup routine in the summer, I would definitely recommend you use a primer because I ain't never done my makeup in the summer without primer before. So I don't even know if that will work. This is more of a mattifying primer. Um, another primer that you could use is the e.l.f. Um, matte putty primer, putty primer or something. The one in the little black, uh, clear container. But y'all, yeah, that has never worked for me. But everybody else has claimed that that thing works like a charm. Blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, it doesn't work for me. So, I would recommend it for the ones who said it worked for them. Because it seems like everybody else that has used it works for them except for me. So, I might just be the single anomaly in this equation. Sadly, I thought I had um, brow, I mean lash glue. But if you don't have lash glue, you can also use this. This is the NYX um, brow glue. And like I says, it almost is like a glue for real. I'm going to go ahead and use this um, NYX Lift and Snatch. This is in the shade black do not be alarmed y'all because when i was trying to order this it was only black left and i was like i can still finesse this because you really have to go very light-handed when using this product um and a lot of people only use this to outline their brows but i use this for everything because i don't got times of using two different things no so i just do this and i go by the natural shape of my eyebrows So I'm going to be using the um, L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. This is in the shade Honey. And I just like to... Oh my gosh, I need to re-up on this because it's about to finish. Oh, I'm also going to be using my NARS foundation in the shade New Caledonia. Caledonia. 
Alolia. Bro, I don't know how to pronounce it. And then I'm going to go ahead with the lighter shade and then just tap a little bit of that foundation. I just like to mix the two of them. I like that concussion. And then I'm just gonna go underneath that arch right here. Even though I've been doing my eyebrows for years, this is literally the best way for, it, for me to do my eyebrows is by going under the arch first and then working my way up to the front of my brows. Now I'm gonna go back in with the foundation and then we're going to clean up the top of the brow. Once again, guys, take your time with this. You don't have to just go shoo. You know how everybody else, when they do it, they go shoo. You don't need to do shoo, okay? If the thing doesn't shoo in the beginning, take your time. You don't need to do shoo, shoo, shoo. Just be doing small, small, small. Small, small, small as you are going, okay? beautiful yep using my ah, I don't know which brush this is I think this is real techniques this if this is not real techniques then this is from Shein by the way y'all I'm gonna put you on to some brushes that you're going to get from Shein this is all less than like I don't know 20 dollars so if the, you're a beginner or something I highly recommend that you get these brushes rather than spending money on a Mac brush Muffy brush and consistious brush all these other high high end brushes just just do something cheap okay because one thing about me i will always go for the cheap option before i go for the expensive one now i'm going to use the same brush go in the front of the brows here because i know you were looking at it that kemi was happening here but well, don't worry i told you to not worry so i just go up and down in the front like that up and down up and down as you guys can see it's a faded faded the front very quickly very nice and quick i'm gonna just leave it like that because I, if i get too excited i get I, I ruin everything so yeah we're gonna go into our foundation you guys can see i already have lash extensions so for the eyes we're gonna keep it very simple but we're not doing the eyes right now we're doing the face I'm going in with the same foundation, the new Caledonia or Caledonia, Caledonia, whatever you call it. I'm gonna put it all over my face. Now I've been seeing all the TikTok routines where they do the concealer and then they it minimize the amount of foundation you use. I don't, I don't do that. I don't have time for that. I don't even get that whole placement thing. And this helps me to get the most of my foundation. I'm still not using that much product, but I'm also like in control of how much the coverage is. Cause as you guys can see, that right there already gave me more than enough coverage. And by the way, I'm using this brush, which is also from Shein. This is called the Maange brush, and this is just the foundation brush. So we're just gonna tap in. And whatever is left, that's what I would just use to tap on my um, nose. But you guys know that this is where I have the most oil, so I minimize the amount of product that goes around this area. Whatever is left in my concealer, I'm just gonna I like to blend it in with my foundation because I don't want it to be just like straight up white. This just helps to give that like initial highlight before I go with the actual highlight. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. And I'll just concentrate this right in the inner parts of my face and a little bit in the outer right, right here.
I recently just got the um, Juvia's Place Pink Posse Blush. I thought this was the liquid blush. And then I opened it. I was like, why is it shine shine inside it? I realized it's the liquid blush highlighter. I was like, when did they release a highlighter? Okay. Because I'm like, I'm not understanding. I'm also going to be using my Makeup Revolution um, foundation stick. This is in the shade F18. And I like to use this to contour. Because once I place it, you guys can see that's the perfect like color it's not too red it's more like of a neutral brown that i use to contour my face and i just like to take that down the bridge of my nose from the corner of my eyebrows i'm also going to use the liquid um blush highlighter i don't know how this is going to look or how this is going to blend with the highlighter i know how everything else is going to look but i've never tried the liquid highlight before but you know I guess we can try it today. <laughs> oh my god, y'all, this brush right here. If you're gonna get anything from this video, get this brush. This is like a tapered, sorry, it's a little dirty, but this is a tapered brush. I got this in a set of five. This is called the Concealer Brush 51615, also by Maange also from Shein but it came in a set of five and I ended up getting like five packs of that so which is 25 quick mats you know and when I got it I was like okay I hope this is good because I thought it was a little bit bigger but this is so perfect to blend out concealer and I'm about to show you I'm gonna blend out my contour because I want to make sure that I get the maximum amount of coverage from these from this concealer and one thing I love oops, Girl, our concealer has lost its placement. It's okay. I mean, our blush. One thing I love about this um, concealer, no matter how long you leave it on your face, it's going to still be creamy and juicy. So, that's why I love using the L'Oreal. I, I don't know. I have not found any other blush that I kind of like. Um, I've been trying to try some high-end um, concealer, but I don't think... Did I just say blush? Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I've been trying to find a nice concealer like the L'Oreal one. I haven't found anyone that has really taken my interest that much. I'm going to just use the same brush that I use for my foundation because I want it to be very seamless. My forehead be doing some weird stuff sometimes. So let's just blend that out first, please. I'm going to go ahead and blend out the chin. Y'all see that? Tap, 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 one, two, gone. One. My battery is always doing this thing and I'm about to shake away for this battery, honestly. Bruh. I'm gonna use this smaller brush to blend out the nose contour. Remember, do not swipe, y'all. What you need to do is tap in the product I'm gonna blend out this liquid blush because I'm a little scared I'm a little skeptical about her never tried her before and I don't know what her staying power is y'all that looks like straight up highlight bro it didn't even give me no color where's the color in this it's just literally blending like a highlighter see this is why I don't like to try new things I just you see this is what I'm saying I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the concealer now. Once it, y'all see how that? Mm, do y'all see how that blended? <sighs> Hold on, let me take it back a little bit. Make sure you do this, cause that's how you get in the crevices of your highs. <sighs> you get this brush, okay? Stop playing. See, this is why I told you to look up, y'all, because you will stop your highs. You will stop yourself. And once again, we're not swiping. We are tapping. Okay, I'm sick and tired of y'all saying that your products be doing these movements. And it's because you're not tapping it in. You're swiping it all over your face. Why won't it move? 
when it's not a um, super glue now i'm gonna be using the charlotte tilbury powder in the shade 3 tan the perfect color for me to use to set my under eye and yes i set before i put the powder i don't remember whose routine i got this trick from but yeah whoever the person is credits credits to them I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my inner parts of my face that I put the concealer at. I'm gonna use the Mocha Mami bronzer by Fenty. I'm using the same product. This is what I do for my eye routine, and honestly, it's a beautiful, it's immaculate. I'm just gonna use that same shade and I'll sweep it all over my eyelid and yes I didn't use no concealer or anything like that I just like to go with the natural like shade of my eyes I'm gonna take that same color down the bridge of my nose and build ourselves a new nose this is a lip liner but I'm gonna use it as an eyeliner and it's in the shade dark brown I'm just gonna use that to put in my lower lash line just for a little vroom you know a little vroom 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 now for the blush we're using today I'm gonna be using Juvia's Place blush in volume 4 and I just like to use like the lighter color I like to sweep that like under the eye right here I'm gonna use this mascara. I believe this is by Fenty Beauty in uh, Cause I'm Black or something. I guess. I don't know. Um, and I'm sure you're wondering, am I going to still do like baking? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm just using the um, Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I'm just gonna tap, tap, tap. just so that it soaks up any oil because this is like my routine for spring summertime and all that stuff you know what I'm saying? like I just need something to soak up any oil in my under eye area and while that is doing a stain or baking we're going to use the same lip liner eyeliner and I'm gonna just use that to line my lips I really enjoy overlining my lips now. I don't know why, but I think it looks really good. I don't have a perfect nude color right now because I think most of my colors that are cute I always be like, oh my god, this will really look good on my clients, and I use it on my clients. <laughs> so, it's not like I use it on myself. When I buy a new product and I think, oh, this is nice, I like it, I would either keep it for myself or I will add it to my kit. But most of the time, I keep it, I add it to my kit. This is like just a very, um, random like Vizart eyeshadow palette, but I'm going to use the lighter shade, which is like a pinkish nude, and I'm just going to chop that all over my lip. I know it looks crazy, but please trust the process, okay? Trust the process. Using the NYX Butter Gloss and Fortune Cookie. And I'm just gonna tap that all over the lip. I know it looks crazy, but I need you to relax. So, we're gonna go ahead and dust off the powders that we got going on here. Because we don't need it anymore. Typically, I use just the Charlotte and then the one size, but when I use a bit more powder like I did today, which is like when I do my summertime routine, I like to go in with the Morphe first because Morphe basically is like a mist. So it just like marinates everything together first before you use 
like a holding spray. I personally think that this Charlotte Tilbury is more like a holding spray because whenever you spray it on something, it don't move, okay? One size. And then just to add a little bit more shine on my lips, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Lip Oil. I think this is a lip oil. And don't worry guys, everything that I used in this video will be down below. So don't be disheartened. If you don't see me showing it in the front, it's in the, it's in the below parts. Okay. I'm going to go back in with a little bit more of the NYX. Oh my god. This is what we're looking like. Y'all, I look too good. I look like somebody's wife. Do you understand? I look like somebody's wife. <laughs> All right, y'all, this is the final look. This is what we're going with or whatever. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this makeup look. Let me know if you're going to be purchasing some of the products that I recommended, especially the brushes. If you're taking anything out of this video, guys, the brushes, the brushes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.